Uh, one thing I want to mention also before I go forward is there's also a bolt up here. Now this goes in there like that if you remember. This is going to be a pain in the ass to get to. You're going to need a, lar a long extension to get to that. So you can just feel away your feel it up here yourself to make sure you know uh, where the bolt is. So you're gonna be hating your life once you get that bolt. <laughs> just warning you guys. And like I said, all these bolts are nine thirty seconds. So let's put that aside for now. And the last thing over here is there's four bolts holding this thing in place pretty much there's like a bracket that holds the whole heater core in place there's one bolt that goes here one bolt goes on top so for that bolt you're gonna, you're gonna need for these small ones you can need a uh, you know an extension like this and for the other ones you could use a small little extension to get the one up there and I got the other ones out here also there's a bolt there and a bolt up there I don't know if you can see the top one there's a bolt up there. So there's four bolts that hold this in place once you get to this. So now all you have to do is pull this out, which would take a little finagling. And if you have a buddy in the back helping you pull this out, it'll go even easier, this job, just to push the heater hoses in. So here it is. One second while I get my friend here to hold the camera because you need two hands for this. And whoa, that's what it looks like. Yeah, be careful also, antifreeze is going to spill out. So I really don't care about the carpet in this car, so it doesn't really matter. And to take this off, these also I believe are 930 seconds. Yes, they are. So you could just undo these. And there's a bracket here, you undo that, and this whole thing comes off. And put the new one on. Make sure when you get the new part, it looks similar to this, because sometimes you get bad parts. And like I said, well, like I said, this might take a little while, so you might want to start this job early during the day, so if it is the wrong part, you could bring it back. So that's what it looks like. And these are the hoses that go, you know, the heater hoses go to. So this is what it takes to do a heater core on a third gen. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. It's free to subscribe. Check the box. Also like me underneath. Also, I hang out at NewYorkThirdGen.com. That's uh, N-Y-T-H-I-R-D-G-E-N.com. They're a lot of, one of the fat, some of the fastest cars and nicest third gens in New York are there. So come check us out. I'm the clown. Tell them the clown sent you. So thanks for watching and take care.